Hey fellow backyard warriors, Nick here, and today we're going to be making a wooden patu that's similar to this one. Now this one's made from a piece of ohia lehua, which is a hardwood that is native to Hawaii. Now ohia is a hard, dense, and very tough wood, highly prized for use in making weapons. And since moving up to the mainland, I've been searching for a domestic wood species that has similar properties to Ohia. And this is one of them. This is a piece of hickory. These two wood species are almost identical in terms of hardness, toughness, elasticity, and density. Now there are harder and denser woods available, but I really like hickory because it is so tough. It's not brittle and it doesn't tend to chip out when you hit things with it. So I've got my piece of hickory. First thing I'm going to do is lay out the pattern of the club. And what I'm going to try to do is, you can see on this board, it's got a combination of rifts on wood on this side, where it sort of, the tree started wrapping back around. And then it's flat sawn here, where the growth rings were coming this way. So I'm going to try and align the club where it's flat sawn, that way it will have a lot of strength on its edge. So now that I've got the club laid out the way I want it, I'm just going to cut it out with my bandsaw. Now that I've got it cut to shape, I'm going to use my farrier's rasp to rough it down and then we'll use a finer rasp to really get it to its final shape. Now I'm going to switch to a finer rasp. Alright, so now that the edges are pretty much sharp and the surface finish is fairly good, I'm going to go drill the handle hole and then after that I'm going to use an orbital sander just to take down all the heavy tool marks and then we'll start hand sanding. I'm going to start drilling the handle hole right about here. I'm using a cone shaped bit. I'm just going to drill from both sides until they meet and then I'm going to expand it to a little under a quarter of an inch in diameter and then round everything off. So now that I can see through it, I'm just going to widen up the hole until it's the size I want. Alright, so now I'm going to start hand sanding. It's already pretty smooth, so I'm going to start with a 1500 grit, and I'm going to sand all the way to 15,000.
and you can see it even has a bit of a luster to it just from sanding. So now what I'm going to do is just wipe it down with a damp sponge and then let this dry. This is called raising the grain. Basically even though it feels smooth, a lot of the wood grains from sanding were pushed down and so the water causes them to swell up and lift. And as you can see now that it's drying out, that luster is gone and there are these really fine hairs and it makes it just a little fuzzy feeling. So now that it's dry, I'm going to go back with the same sandpaper I just sanded with. And then once this is smooth, I'll move up to the next sandpaper. All right, so there are lots of different finishes that you can use. Sometimes I'll use beeswax mixed with mineral oil or coconut oil as a finish. But today I'm just going to be using some tallow, just some rendered beef fat. I'm just going to rub it in. You want to make sure that you don't use an oil that's going to go rancid. Alright, so now that I've coated it with a layer of oil, I'm going to let it sit for about 20 minutes, a half an hour, and then I'm going to come back and buff it out. So you just want to buff out the surface with a soft cloth or a towel. Alright, so here it is. I've got a little watermelon and I've tied a temporary wrist cord on here. And when you're tying this, the way I like to tie them is I want them to be just long enough so that I can do this. Just a simple swing and it's ready to go in your hand. Alright, here we go. See what happens. Okay, so you can see I've got a cut here. I thought this thing was going to move. Okay, let's try that again. Here's another cut. So here it is, all finished up. If you have any suggestions for other things you'd like to see me build, please let me know in the comments below. If you like what I'm doing, be sure to check out my channel for other videos like this, and I've also written several books on different topics, and I'll put links to those in the description below. So as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!